and new tele objective of the US Army. The Optical Research Division of the US Army Signal Corps has just issued a new camera, which is specially suited to take photos at a distance of 50 kilometers, 30 me dot. The objective has a focal length of 254 centimeters, 100 inches. It is 1 m long and has a diameter of 24.13 centimeters, 9.5 inches. It has been corrected for using infrared film. Using this objective, it is quite easy to analyze the terrain up to a distance of 10 to 20 kilometers, 6 to 12 me dot, and distinguish weapons, fortifications, and transports. The dis the photo reproduced shows the Empire State Building and the outlines of Manhattan at a distance of 41.8 kilometers, 26 me dot. At the bottom of the Empire State Building, a large hotel is visible on Coney Island. However, it is only 20.9 kilometers, 13 me dot, distant from the camera. One could never tell from this photo that between these two buildings there is a distance of 21 kilometers. The lighthouse of Sandy Hook in the foreground of the photo is only 6.4 kilometers, 4 me dot, distant from the camera. The new TV objective is coupled to a 13x18 centimeters camera, which can either use film cassettes or rolls of film. Each roll of film contains 30 exposures, however, a built-in cutter can be used to cut off exposed parts of the film. They can be lifted out with a take-up spool. The shortest distance to still produce a sharp photo with this teleobjective is 500 m1, 600 foot. In this, the telescope, which is used to focus the camera, has a magnification of 10 and shows the exact frame of the photo to be taken. When adjusting for the proper distance, the heavy objective, which is firmly mounted on the tripod, is not moved, but instead one only moves the camera. The device weighs about 64 kilograms, 140 pound dot, and must be operated by two men. The whole camera is carried, with two handles each on front and back, like a stretcher. The device can be set up, aimed and adjusted, all within five minutes. End of quote. Studying the entire photograph, we can determine the following. 1. The camera is at the beach of Atlantic Highlands about 1 m, 39 inches, above ground level. 2. The camera, as well as the telescope, is directed upwards, which shows that the photo was not taken from any elevated point, and that any objects behind the horizon must be situated higher. 3. An island being 6 kilometers, 4 me dot, distant is shown in its entirety, looking down on it. The sea inlet behind it, 14 kilometers wide, 9 me dot, as well as the wharves of the Coney Island Harbor are shown without being covered. 4. That is not all. The photo allows a view of the roofs of the harbor city behind it, optically includes the peninsula of Brooklyn and another sea inlet, and clearly shows the skyscrapers of Manhattan. If this earth were a convex solid ball, and like rays would travel perfectly straight, all this should be 100 m, 330 feet, below the horizon. In summary, we can say, the horizon has nothing to do with the supposed spherical shape of the earth since it can be optically resolved. If, however, opponents of the geocosmic world have the excuse that the light ray is bent around the convex, solid earth, we would be very happy to hear that statement made. This would take away the basis for the Copernican worldview, the straight beam of light. Blank. Stream yard. End. Stream.